Well, today is the first working day of the rebuilding of the Labor Party. Of course, we now need to best determine how we can be the most effective, the most united, the most focused opposition that we possibly can be. To hold the new Abbott government to account and to ensure that we're putting forward the right alternative policies for Australia's future. We need to build on the successes and achievements of the Labor government over the last six years. We need to acknowledge and build on our strong record of economic growth in difficult circumstances, our ability to introduce landmark reforms like disability care and better school funding. We also need to acknowledge the lessons learnt. We need to acknowledge and learn from the, the message the Australian people gave us on Saturday, that they want a Labor Party united, stable and focused on them, not on ourselves. We need a period of reflection to determine how best to provide that united and stable opposition, but we need to provide it from today. Each of us involved in the Labor Party needs to consider what role we can best play in that rebuilding process so that the Labor Party is the most viable prospect possible whenever the next election is held. Each of us needs to consider uh, what, what merits we bring to different positions and what role we can each play. For my part, I've decided that I will not be a candidate for the leadership of the Labor Party. I will be available to the new leader uh, in whichever role they see fit, including to be Shadow Treasurer. I think there's an obligation on each of us to make ourselves available for positions like the leadership if we feel genuinely that we are the best possible candidate at any particular time. Equally, there's an obligation not to put our names forward if we don't feel that. The conclusion that I've reached will be obvious to you uh, based on the decision that I've just told you about. I think the Labor Party is blessed uh, with a talented team. Uh, I think, obviously, uh, there's been names uh, mentioned as potential candidates as well as mine, uh, and I think all of those all of those potential candidates are people of great talent and ability and they, and they, I know, are going through the same process that I've gone through over the last 24 hours to consider their options and they'll make their own uh, plans known in their own good time. Does Kevin Rudd, for the good of the party, continue to play an active role? Look, I or, think, or walk away? well, Kevin Rudd, uh, as a respected former Prime Minister and leader, should be able to make his own decisions, his own announcements and his own good time. I think he has an ongoing contribution to make to the Labor Party and to the nation and he should decide what contribution that is and in what form it takes and he should be given all the time he needs to make that decision and those announcements and it's an entirely a matter for him. If he chose to stay in Parliament, I think he could continue to make a contribution uh, quite appropriately. On the front That's entirely a matter for him and the new leader. 